All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested, and definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there. And today's live stream is partnered with Mint Mobile, where you can save money on your mobile phone plan for as low as $15 a month, but more on that later. And so let's just jump right into it, and then we'll talk about all the different Tesla images inventory updates that is out there at the moment but here it actually is just scrolling through x and i you know we haven't i know today is a little bit later of a stream today but we want to get on today because it's been a little bit sporadic but would you buy this tesla model 3 for ten thousand eight hundred dollars clean title no accidents one previous owner it's a 2018 model 3 mid-range rear wheel drive 202 thousand miles and a sale price of ten thousand eight hundred dollars no confirmation if this qualifies for the four thousand dollar used ev tax credit or if this price of ten thousand eight hundred actually has the used ev tax credit already factored in but either way whether it has it factored in or not that's an insane monthly payment or that's an insane price on a 2018 tesla model 3 of course if you're going to be buying something like this i would strongly recommend buying some sort of aftermarket warranty and so that's the thing would you buy a battery only warranty on a vehicle like this let's say i mean and also how much would you pay for a battery warranty vehicle like this please comment down below yes and how much you would pay for a monthly warranty on a vehicle of this year this mileage because that's definitely not having any sort of factory warranty or factory battery or drivetrain warranty at all at this type of age with this type of mileage on it at 202 at 202,528 miles and here's the dealer it seems like i was trying to fire, for, figure out if this vehicle is still available and i didn't see it i mean it is a dealer in southern california it's debossmotors.com and i was trying to figure out if they had other teslas in this price range it's kind of hard for to see which all vehicle is the cheapest the cheapest one it seems like on their website at the moment is fifteen thousand eight hundred, and it's a 2019 tesla model 3 with also i mean that high mileage of like a hundred thousand miles but it seems like maybe that model 3 that they were listing has already been sold so someone thought it was a great fantastic deal and bought it right right away and so this could be a sign of more tesla vehicles hitting to these low ranges low prices these crazy prices of in the mid to lower teens and tesla prices have been dropping for a while you can see this is car gurus with all the prices year over year and we've seen 20 to 25 percent price drops year over year in terms of the retail list price and if we want to see like what's the cheapest tesla model 3 in the country across the nation it seems like at the moment the cheapest one is 13,497 it looks like those other two that were in southern california sold relatively quickly so there certainly is a market for a lot of people looking to buy these cheap teslas in these low prices across the board in the low teens i still think if you're looking to finance a vehicle if you have to buy a new vehicle and you have to finance it the new one is going to be your better bet especially because there's so many different incentives that you can get right now 1.99 to 2.99 percent and also there's a military one thousand dollar discount and also a tesla referral code discount just like the one down below in the description where you can get an extra one thousand dollars off and if you can be patient i would say quarter four is going to be your best time to buy it seems like inventory is still staying relatively relatively high over the past couple of quarters and so certainly i would say that the quarter four is going to be your best deal and best time to buy if you can wait all the way to the end but certainly if you're going to be paying cash then buying a vehicle like this might be a good option for you if you're looking to get into a cheap vehicle that won't give you too many issues unless the battery goes out but even if the battery goes out there's plenty of companies out there that will well not plenty of companies there's companies out there where you can get a new miri manufactured battery for around six to seven thousand dollars delivered and installed so the cost of repairing these batteries and getting new batteries is not that bad at the end of the day 